Hi everyone, it's Joe and I'm here with the next edition of the VR Chronicles and today we're going to be playing the new Retro Arcade. But let me just give you a tour. We got a bunch of arcade cabinets with some awesome games. So we got Frogger, Qbert, Moon Patrol, uh, Street Fighter. We got a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, turn that white. Um, and I'm just I'm just walking around with a cassette in my hand. Let me just let me throw a cassette in. If you couldn't tell, there are cassettes in this game. So we have the arcade cabinets. We have a working dart board. Let me show you how that works. Pick up a nice dart. Look over here and uh, throw it. There we go, that was terrible. It's kind of hard to get used to because you're using your head actually to aim the dart. So, nice, there we go, we got 19. And it keeps score for you up there, how insane is that? We got a Game Boy over here, which is pretty cool. I can pick this bad boy up and um, I can play stuff. I can hold it in my hands and play it, in my virtual hands. Um, I know there's a way I can zoom in a little bit, Oh gosh, I just dropped it. Yeah, oh, there we go. Kirby's Dream Land. And I can play. I can literally sit here and play the game in this arcade. So I'm going to put this thing down because that's all up in my face. Then over here we have an SNES system. So I can grab a cartridge. I'm going to actually keep the cartridge just in there because I actually want to play that. But I can grab a cartridge if I want to and throw it in. Like, I can throw in, uh, yeah, Earthworm Jim's cool, but you know what, fuck it. We're gonna stick with the OG Super Mario World, and yeah, I can just start playing. So here we go, I grab a controller, look up at the screen. It actually saved my progress. I haven't played this in a while, so don't judge me, peoples. Oh, <laughs> I tried to get cute there. So the next thing I'll show you, there's a Flappy Bird machine. That's really fucking weird. Uh, we won't play any of that. We got some awesome posters, awesome posters, including this awesome poster. So the other thing that I can explain to you is they have an arcade builder. So you can get your own ROMs and throw them in the cabinets. And you might not have the artwork, but you can just throw in any ROM that you want and play it in an arcade cabinet. So like Andrew was really bummed because he wanted to play Dig Dug because it's not in here. But I could get a Dig Dug ROM, throw it in the, in the arcade builder. They actually have like a GUI for it and fucking you know, put together your own arcade, that's awesome. The only thing that I customize is putting a Shack News poster in my arcade, but you can change all of these posters, they're all interchangeable. Uh, we got the old school basketball. It's actually really hard to play, because you have to tilt your head in order to shoot. Uh, nice, scored. Uh, one of my favorite things about the arcade games themselves, actually, is that they, they're pretty realistic in the sense that, like, if I walk up to Pac-Man, and I start playing, and when I press buttons, you could see them moving. Like I can see what game, what buttons I'm pressing to uh, start, which is actually really cool. Um, like, watch when I, see how it when I move the joystick, it actually moves the joystick in the game, which is really cool. Um, I'll spare you my rather poor Pac-Man skills. Oh my gosh. As you can tell, I'm not that great. Um, it's also different to play with a stick, but I'm sure I'd get used to it after a while. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Get over here. Oh man. Anyway, my Pac-Man skills are sorely lacking right now. It's been a while, as you can tell. Oh, hey. bastard. Oh shit, oh shit, get away from me. I'm gonna complete this level, I think. Oh! <laughs> um, game over. I'm not that great at Pac-Man. Paperboy, we got the Turtles cabinet, which is pretty cool. And what we got over here, Golden Axe, 1942, Spice Invaders, the Simpsons, which is personally one of my favorite cabinets of all time. And then the final piece, which is the bowling alley. There is a bowling alley. I can come up here and grab a bowling ball. And let's see if I can throw a strike. Oh, oh my God, that was terrible. 
Yes. Strike. Nice. Uh, impressions. Uh, I think this is a beautifully rendered and awesome little world that they've created. Um, super detailed with a lot of little Easter eggs and a lot of little stuff to find. I think even the physics games, although they are a little wonky sometimes, are really fun. Um, and the fact that you can customize your arcade and they have a builder that allows you to customize things is just fucking incredible. I think that's really cool. Couple of negatives. Uh, the control scheme is some at sometimes unwieldy. I have a controller, thankfully, so that helps me out because I do have an, an Xbox controller scheme. But if you are just using a keyboard, it is a little bit crazy to get used to. This game needs multiplayer. Uh, I need to be able to build my fucking arcade and put in my games that I want to put in and have my friends come over and play alongside me or watch me or, you know, or face each other. Imagine playing Street Fighter with your buddies, a little tournament action. That could be really fucking cool. Um, other than that, I think this is an awesome experience and I can't wait to play more of it after this demo. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I'm gonna go try to get the high score on the Simpsons Arcade Cabinet. Thanks, bye.